Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Weather Extra. I'm Rod Hill, along with... Um, Chris McGinnis, just bandaging up my little paper cut over here that I've been dealing you know, with all morning. I almost put a bandaid <laughs> on myself this morning. It's a dangerous Tuesday. I needed it. <laughs> you ever, like, like, have that paper cut? It just gets, like, and then yes. you're like, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. Well, you deal with it all morning by going, ow, really ow, starts to ow. I now. finally got it bandaged up. I have uh, some useless knowledge for you coming up in a minute. Ooh. A cool website I stumbled on, and I thought I might share it with you because... I thought it was interesting. This is cheerful news, though. You're going to like it. Yeah, you it's will. It's cheerful news. You will. Uh, real quick uh, catch up on the seven day. Of course, so far this morning, we're enjoying more dry weather. Much of the region had a frosty start. We do have some fog pockets lingering. It's kind of foggy over downtown at the time we're taping this at 836 on Tuesday morning, but already a lot of sunshine out there. So it goes on to be a decent day. We get up to about 50. If you are just uh, getting updated on the forecast, watch for thickening clouds this evening into tonight. There may be some spritzy light showers around. It wouldn't be much. Then after an early shower chance of that tomorrow morning, otherwise Wednesday goes on to be dry. And basically we're still looking at Thursday with some likely rain with a fairly weak front, then a wetter system moving in on Saturday. That could be some pretty good rain, especially uh, the latter part of Saturday into the uh, Saturday night hours. And with that, we're also hopeful of getting some fresh snow, which all of a sudden it's been a while since we've had a pretty good, we'll say snow dump on the mountain. You know, we had some last weekend. Saturday produced some some decent powder, but of course nothing over the past 24 hours. And you're looking at the bases, how they sit. Timberline 120, Meadows 96. Ski Bowl, that's about mid-mountain for them at 5,000 feet over 50 inches, and then Bachelor coming in at uh, 83 inches. So this next graphic just gives you a little eyes on uh, what could be coming. So notice Thursday, three to six inches, hopefully, hopefully. And then snow picking up during the day Saturday with uh, favorable snow levels down to pass level, six to 12 inches. And we could potentially add another foot all the way down to as low as two or 3,000 feet Saturday overnight into Sunday morning. So if that holds true, then it would be a really nice weekend for fresh snow up on the mountain, Chris. Hammer J is going to put that down right quick and get get up there. Big skier behind Big us skier. holding the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, okay, so we are, what, uh, 40, today's 11th, so that's yeah. 40, I can do some math, that's okay. 42 days into the new year. 42 days, okay. How many dry days have we had so far? You, have you looked this up? I did. Completely dry. <laughs> I was setting you up. So completely dry completely days. Completely dry. Zero in the, in the in climate the, log for, for rain. each 24 hour, each daily part. What, no what's, what's Drew handing up? I'm going to oh, say we've had uh, three would be my guess. Oh, and, no, even, including yesterday, I'm going to go um, four. Four. Is four right? Two in January. And then back to back days, today would make three. That would make five if we get it today. So I actually remembered that there was two in January. Okay, so I kind of so, cheated. Okay, I kind of cheated. cheated. Okay. How much daylight have we had? Not much. Oh. <laughs> well, we couldn't see part well, of the is, daylight. This is the cheery part of things. Okay, now that we're, you know, the groundhog has done his thing, and who cares about him? The days are getting Ooh. longer. You probably already noticed that, right? So yeah. here are our daylight stats. I just looked this up. Uh, daylight today, 10 hours, 12 minutes, 34 seconds. We are gaining almost three minutes of daylight each day, two minutes and 53 to be a little bit more precise. That rate of change, by the way, continues increasing. The rate of change. as well, this is good as news. In, as in the amount of daylight that we add to our day, the rate continues increasing through the vernal equinox in, in March. So we're still adding, uh, you know, three plus minutes of day, daylight as we get to March. And then we continue adding, yeah. just not as much each day through uh, the first day of summer. Yeah. First day of summer, our daylight, 15 hours and 41 minutes of daylight. Ooh, it's those 11 seconds I love. Yeah. That, that extra 11 seconds. Those are, <laughs> that extra 11 seconds is what makes the, uh, the post 9 o'clock sunset so oh, prevalent yeah. in late June and early July. Okay, so you're probably wondering, you know, how did I know all this stuff? Well, I actually looked it up on this fancy dancy website. So, Rod, I wanted to show you this. Uh, let's take a different source here, guys. Maybe we can come over and take MISC4. This is a website called timeanddate.com. I actually stumbled across, it, across this a while ago, but I thought this is a really good use, uh, a, a, a good resource if you're into, you know, all kinds of weird uh, astronomical and, and moon stats and whatnot. You just type in Portland, and then it actually gives you like uh, sunrise, sunset. Here's a really cool graph, by the way, that they have on here. And as you scroll, well, let's I locked it. Let's un, let's unlock. There we go. Watch as you scroll, like from left to right on here, how the daylight calculator. It's just kind of all those numbers are just ticking away, ticking away, ticking away. So it gives you. Uh, you know, an idea of just that rate of change in our daylight. And I thought that was, I don't so know. What? Uh, I, cool. I was distracted for a second. 
but tell me, what's the, the, the week or the, the period of days where we gain the most daylight in terms of minutes and that seconds? That peaks out, the rate of change peaks out right around the spring equinox. So okay. the third week of March is when our rate of increase is the greatest, as in three minutes and 13 seconds a day. That's how a much day, daylight okay. we're adding a day. So yeah, that week, sweet. so think about that. In a week, you've added nearly a half an hour yeah. of daylight from Over Sunday to Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? That's a lot. And then the same yeah. holds true in the fall, right around the autumnal when equinox, the, the fall way. equinox when we, <laughs> when we lose. That's kind of, that's when you all of yeah. a sudden notice, like, boy, it's getting yeah. dark early. Yeah. That's hey, in late um, September. So, little housekeeping note. Jay, go to the graphic real quick. The boss was like, oh, you should acknowledge that. Uh, so we, we, we get this weather extra put together pretty quickly after we do all of our Today Show things, and sometimes we have a typo. So we do know that day length uh, has a G in it. So we didn't, oh. want, we didn't want you at home to think that we didn't you know You could have told me that there. before. <laughs> well, I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it, my friend, until you, know, you walked in the control I have, room. I have brought this up more than once. <laughs> It's 2020, <laughs> right? How come we still don't have spell check on our advanced weather, weather graphics. computer graphics machines? Which, Just like we don't have spell yeah. check in our advanced graphic machines for our news graphics. And these weather That's boxes. On me. In case you didn't know, I'm, I, a, I'm I, an I, average speller at best. <laughs> and today I'm not these, very good. These weather boxes cost about the price of a small house, so you would think they would have. And, but you know, for whatever reason, I'm guilty of this. A lot of times I'll build the graphic and I will not notice the, pel the spell check until I'm on the TV and my eyes see it behind me. And then I always notice it, but often I, I will I, not until I then. have had more so than anyway. one occasion where a viewer has actually politely emailed me or tweeted me or something and said, hey, um, Chris, love your weather forecast. You misspelled something. <laughs> And that's what's most important. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that we do, do know if how to spell If you have a question or comment, by the way, something that you would like us to, to take oh, on yeah, yeah. Uh, during Weather Extra, love getting uh, your questions and comments. You know, we're a bunch of weather geeks over here, so we'll dig in and get those answered for you and talk about them right here on Weather Extra. Yeah, not spelling related, of course. Yes. Have I yourself that. a really good day. Oh, by the way, look at that. That's from the Oregon Veterans Home camera out in the Dalles. Beautiful early morning shot of the blue above Mount Hood.